Have you ever had noodles with frozen soup? The base of this dish is the Korean mulemyeon, but before we get into the details, I want to show you guys everything we ate this Sunday in Tokyo. So this morning, Ryoma was making this breakfast for two people, but apparently the other one wasn't for me. So I had some morning coffee with some nice background music of Fortnite. <laughs> My house is literally a war zone every weekend. I mean every day but it's okay i got used to it after five years anyways the other dish was for yamato which is very nice and i found this lemon on our dining table and it says grandma's lemon i, I have a weird family okay anyways for lunch we went to this tukemen place for the first time it was very um affordable the karage looked so good so i got some and the gyoza for the kids the karage turned out to be really good like 10 out of 10 good but the main tukemen was very um mediocre i didn't really like it and so i'm not going back i'm honest okay Okay, but I still ate it, you know. Anyways, I got back and did some mom stuff and then took a bath. I always take baths in the middle of the day because I get so cold. And then I went to Yuchan. This is our first time here and I'm trying to go to new places these days because we always end up going to the same places. And originally, I know this place from Hawaii, which I haven't been to that one either. And they're very popular for their frozen soup noodles. But since it's a Korean barbecue place, obviously we had some meat to start off with. And I would say the meat was really good, but I don't think the quality matched the prices. I know I'm being picky today. I mean, not just today, but anyways. This is what we came for, and as soon as I got it, I realized that I don't actually really like frozen things. Like, I don't eat or drink frozen things in general, but anyways. It was actually really good. The noodles were really chewy, and the soup became like soupy after a while. So I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. I don't know. Okay, bye.